Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and thanks for joining me for another video. This is Marquita from At Home With Kita and here I share tips on how to plan a balanced life. So if you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing. So in today's video, I am finally jumping on the digital bandwagon. So I am going to be trying out digital planning and I'm going to share with you my experience. We're going to go through this whole thing together and I'm going to try it and see if it's something that I want to incorporate into my planning routine. So that is what we're doing today. I'm really excited about it. So let's get into it. So for today's video, I'm going to be using my iPad mini. This is the new iPad mini. I love the mini. I have used all different types of iPads in the past and I just find that mini is best for me, um, especially because I do a lot of things for my Bible study and all of that good stuff for my meetings and things like that. It works better for me to be able to do that on the mini. It's just more portable. And then I also have the new Apple pencil that sticks to the side, which is great. I love this thing. And so I am going to be using the good notes app to do this planning I'm not gonna show y'all my password <laughs> and then we are going to go at it and see how this thing works out for us so I have tried it a little bit or played around with it a little bit just to see if it's something that I want to do but I want to show you uh, what I've been using for that and uh, just do another spread just to test it out again I do typically love writing so that's why I use my actual physical planner because I just love the pen to paper method and that's why I had to have the Apple pencil because it feels like you're writing um, especially because I have this uh, paper like is what this is called it makes your iPad feel like paper so that is the screen protector that I have so if you listen you can kind of hear it okay so it kind of sounds like paper so it gives you the illusion that you're writing with a pencil onto paper so the printables that I'm using I've already imported into good notes so that is what I'm using as the app I use good notes for everything um, in terms of when I'm doing things like this and then also my studies if I want to take notes anything like that is all done in good notes and so the um, inserts that I got are from Etsy so I'll try to remember and link them below. I love them because everything is clickable. And I am trying to see guys if I want to add digital inserts to Fancy Plans Co. It's a whole process. I have to figure it out how to do them. And so um, I have it on my to-do list. It's just that I haven't had time to really figure it out. But with these inserts, everything is clickable. So that's the year. This is January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. Uh, you've got 2021. You've got a calendar here. All of this stuff is clickable. Um, and it's really just cool. And so if I click on December 3rd, it's going to take me to that. So this, um, these inserts were really awesome. Um, you've also got some other things here at the bottom, like some fill paper, blank paper, things like that. Um, I think this is all blank paper. And then you've also got this heart here that I just clicked on that has the habit tracker, gratitude journal, the, uh, I guess to watch mood tracker, wheel of life to read so some different little inserts that you can play around with. There's also a dollar sign here for order tracker, monthly expenses, yearly finances, wish list. It's cool how everything is clickable. Um, and then you've got a graph here that is for productivity. You've got this here for all of your notes paper. And then you've got this last one i guess for you to kind of customize some different pages on your own so when you click the home it takes you to the grocery list meal idea sleep tracker bucket list password tracker month at a glance meal planner birthdays um, dream tracker key dates contacts and monthly review so you can click on any one of those to be able to fill that in so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to um November which is what we're in so this is the monthly view of November and then after the monthly view you've got your weekly so this is how my weekly looks um, of course there are different layouts based on what you think you need and within this um, package that I purchased I believe it came with two different layouts or two color schemes or something like that um, so that's really cool all of these little dates here are clickable um, so it's really awesome the way that this is set. okay so then we are working with the week of the 8th which is right here on our monthly 
monthly view, but we're going to try to decorate the whole month. And then we're going to try to see if we can decorate a weekly spread too. I'm not going to write things in. I'm just going to decorate things just to show you how it would do that. Okay. So within this package as well, it came with some stickers and thing, you know, various elements for me to use to decorate. So let's just go ahead and get into it. So that way, um, this video doesn't take forever because you guys know me, I can talk and talk and talk. So make sure that you guys are in focus so you can see clearly. I've adjusted my lighting to make sure that it's not too bright. And I think we are ready to go, you guys. And hopefully you guys can see exactly what it is that I'm doing. All right, so a couple of things to note is that when you're trying to click things, you have to be in a certain view. So if I click here and I go to this, right here this gets me into where i can use the tools and things so i can write i can highlight and things like that i can erase but you can't click on anything okay so that's just something to know as you can see all right so you have to be in a specific view which is this little tool right here to be able to actually click on these things and then when you want to go in and write and add stickers and things like that you've got to go back here so that you can do that Okay. All right. So let's go into some stickers. So if I click on the photo, that's what you've got to do. Then you click where you want it to go. And then it's going to take you into your albums. And so you'll have to see where your stickers save to. And now I have to remember where mine save to because it's in a particular spot. And so I have to figure that out now because I forgot what folder it's in. I haven't done this in some time. And so let me see if I can figure that out. Okay, so here we go. I found the stickers. And so let me just go and show you what came with. So it came with the notebook. So I just literally imported the notebook I wanted into GoodNotes. Um, actually, this is a different sticker package. I bought a couple of different things. Um, so that one came with stickers as well. But all I did was just import it in. And then I um, just kind of looked around and made sure of where everything was at. And then I went and started playing with some stickers. So um, my mine is a little bit confusing because I've got business stuff in here along with that. So eventually I will probably try to um, split it out. But for now, this is where it is. So I think maybe this is it. I guess it did. It came with some notebook covers. Okay. And then it came with the widgets. Okay. If I can get back out of here, it came with widgets. As you can see, the widgets are really cool because it's got like 31 day tracker, a reminder box, dates, notes, box, line, vertical, to-do list, all of that good stuff. It came with that. And then it also came with a whole bunch of stickers, as you can see. So what you have to do with the stickers, so I'm gonna first just choose whatever I feel like my color scheme is going to be. So let's, let's go with this gray color. Okay, so then everything I choose is gonna come from this color set. So I'm gonna make it wider. And then what I'm gonna do is crop it. So I'm gonna use the crop tool. And then I'm gonna go in and choose which one I want. So let's say I wanted a little checklist here. So I'm gonna bring my little marker over, crop it, as you can see, there you go. And then you gotta resize it. So it's not hard to do, it's just, figuring out, see, as you saw, once I I did that, it, um, it took it away. So now I gotta go back in. All right, so if you guys know of an easier way to do this, please let me know, because this is all I've been able to do thus far, is this method, okay? So I'm sure there are a lot of you out there who, did, who do digital planning that can tell me how to make this process easier. Okay, because sometimes it's a little wonky for me. All right, so if I can just get it where I want it to be and then I can resize it, sometimes what happens is, for me at least, is that st stuff just happens, okay? And then getting it over is my issue. Just remembering how to move it, you see? Because when I do that, it duplicates it. See, so this is, I think, part of the problem why I didn't do digital planning because I'm like, okay, it has to be an easier way when I'm just trying to move this over and I don't want to resize it. You know what I mean? Like, how do you, I know how to do it because I've done it before. Let's 
See, I feel like there's a, just a, a certain spot you have to hit it in. So that is what frustrates me sometimes. Okay, so there's my first element. <laughs> All right, so there's my first element. So let's go back in. And let's go back into that set again. And let's see what else we want. So this is how I've been doing it, you guys. Again, let me know if there is a better way. I'm sure there probably is a better way. But I haven't figured that out yet because I'm still just starting out with this whole thing. All right, let's see. I'm trying to figure out what other one I want. Let's get this a little sticky right here. Okay, there we go. So this is what frustrates me about it. Okay, so there's two elements. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and just let you guys see the process of that. And then I'll come back and we'll try to tackle the weekly spread as well, which shouldn't be as complicated, hopefully. And we'll see if this is going to work for us for the week. So I may write some things in and then I will... Um, I may write some things in and then share it on my Instagram so you guys can see that. Okay, so I've added all of the elements that I wanted to add for the stickers. I may go back in and add a couple more things, but now I wanna add some highlighted spots, maybe some dots, um, maybe some wording, some different things uh, with just the tools that are built into GoodNotes. I may even incorporate another color. So let's do that. All right, so I am done with my monthly spread. Everything looks really good. It's very simple. You guys know I'm a simple girl. It's got a note section here on the right-hand side that I use to put my brands that I'm working with, my subscribers, my Instagram followers, and then also the freebies that I'm doing for Freebie Friday. So when it comes to my monthly, I typically put all of my YouTube videos here, anything I'm filming for that day, uploading for that day. And then I also put new releases on Mondays, um, any brands, any important information goes on my monthly spread. This is where I'm as detailed as possible. 
and then we go down to the weekly so i love how the weekly looks it's very simple the days are just you know right here all on one page you've got a top priority section here and then you also have a little calendar here and remember when you come here and click on this all of these are clickable all of the dates are clickable so that's really cool but we want to stay here because this is where you'll be able to use all of these tools and then also you'll be able to do your widgets and uh, things like that so if i come here i think i'm going to try a widget just so you can see how that looks so i have to come back out and go into the widgets folder uh, these widgets are really really cool um so let's say i wanted to do a to-do list so let's add that and so i'll go ahead and decorate this and show you guys how i would do that guys so i completed the monthly and the weekly spreads just to give you an example of how i would plan things out so here's the monthly spread again i showed you guys a little bit earlier how that looks looks very clean very simplified and then the weekly layout looks like this i decided to add some color just burgundy and gray and then i realized that i planned for the wrong week as you can see this is the first week of november which is okay because i'm just showing you just as an example i did actually plan in my physical planner i'm just testing this out so i may be writing in both just to see how it works out for me and so with the weeklies I forgot to mention it does come with the whole weekly view like this and then it has the dailies so here is the first and then the second on through the seventh all right then we get back to the weekly so I didn't mention that so of course I'll link it all below just in case you guys are interested in where I got these from but I love them I love how clean they are I love all the clickable links it gives you pretty much everything that you need to plan for every part of your life again I'm hoping soon that Fancy Plans Co will be able to release something digital because I know there are a lot of you digital planners out there and I'm sure you would love to have a fancy plans digital planner I don't know I, I think you would and so hopefully I can come up with something for that I know it's gonna be a, a pretty not difficult process but it's gonna be a lot of moving parts so if you guys have any advice on some good apps I can use to create a digital planner I'll probably do it based on our existing printables so it'll look exactly the same then make sure to comment below and let me know I would love to hear from you so again this is the good notes app uh, purchase the the uh, download insert or the digital insert from Etsy and I'm using my Apple pencil along with the iPad mini the new one the six so I really really love this and if you want to see the case which is pretty cool by the way this iPad is not on here like you would think it's literally just stuck on there like that and this is the color that I got. I can't, I think it's called Starlight. So this literally just sits, let me zoom you out so you can see a little bit better. This literally just sits right on top of the iPad. Isn't that super cool? And it doesn't, it doesn't come off. It has never fallen off. I have never had an issue with it, as you can see it doesn't it doesn't come off and i got this from amazon because the ones on apple are yeah the ones at apple are really expensive and then of course with the new apple pencil it sticks right to the side of your ipad so i love this so that is my digital plan with me first ever hopefully i can do more using our inserts or our digitals next time that would be pretty cool so hopefully you enjoyed this video i really had a good time i think i may eventually want to incorporate this into my planning just not sure how yet so this was just a test i'll do my continued trials over the week to see how i really feel about it and i will share that with you guys on social so thank you for joining me on today's video hopefully you enjoyed it you got a little inspiration which means you'll give me a thumbs up in this video you'll consider subscribing to my channel if you're new here and you'll come back by and catch another video in which case i'll see you guys then